This is Welsh ASMR 82. Hey, how are you doing? So in today's ASMR map video of the EU, we're going to look at some cities in the EU using Google Maps. I'll zoom down and we look at the first couple of photos in each place. Let's start with somewhere in Germany. Let's go to Frankfurt. So what I usually do, if you don't know, I read this bit. And then we go down and look at the photos. And then after about five minutes, we go to a different country in the EU in the European Union, and we take a look at that. I hope you enjoy the video and the format. So, Frankfurt, a central German city on the River Main, is a major financial hub that's home to the European Central Bank. It's the birthplace of famed writer Johann Wolfgang van Gotha, Goethe, whose former home is now the Goethe House Museum. Like much of the city, it was damaged during World War II and later rebuilt. The reconstructed Altstadt, Old Town, is the site of Römerberg, a square that hosts an annual Christmas market. Sounds lovely. Oh, wow. That looks like somewhere in America to me. States. So that must be the River Mine. I've been to Mines. I think I've been. To, I can't. I've, I've either been to Frankfurt or Mines, and I can't remember which one. Mm, no, I've not been to Frankfurt. I don't think anyway. This must be the oh yeah, Alte Oper. So that's the old opera then, I guess. Postcard. That is a beautiful building. Oh my goodness. The Commerz Bank. And then I'm guessing these must be private residential flats above. Must be quite expensive if they are. Or maybe they're offices. Museum Zinkenberg. Oh, I see. This is from the top of the tower. Museum for Fuhr Moderne Kunst, the Modern Art Museum. Well, Frankfurt is nice. <laughs> Understatement of the year. Imagine having a nice drink outside them on those benches, looking over at the very nice church clock tower there. I have to go to Frankfurt. It looks wonderful. Oh, 
Oh, that's so kind of the Germans. They wrapped him up nice and warm. <laughs> this is Friedrich Stolzer. Stolzer. I really need to go to a new city, but I, I want to stay in Frankfurt. <laughs> established that Frankfurt is wonderful. So that's Germany's contribution. Let's go to Sweden. Let's have a look at Gothenburg. Jutbar. Gothenburg, a major city in Sweden, is situated off the Jutta Elv River on the country's west coast. Important seaport, it's known for its Dutch style canals and leafy boulevards like the Avenue, the city's main thoroughfare, thoroughfare, lined with many cafes and shops. Liseberg is a popular amusement park with themed rides, performance venues, and a landscaped sculpture garden. I love canals. I think it's one of the main reasons I love the Netherlands, apart from the nice people and all the other lovely things. Windmills, tulips, bit of pollen. But um, yeah, Sweden has got a lot of water. I, on my Swedish channel, I do map videos all the time, and it is a common feature of city centres everywhere, which is Museum of Art, by the way, which um, I'm always surprised at. We don't really do that so much in Britain. This is true if you're Swedish or Norwegian, Danish. The steep roofs are to stop the snow building up and getting too heavy, right? We never have enough snow in Britain to um, to find that out, really. Particularly in Wales, it doesn't snow that much at all. It just rains all the time. It's very mild here. Bergs magazine. It's a shop. Oh, beautiful sky. The Fiske Schurke is actually more of a pub by the looks of it. A friend of mine's just got back from a trip to Gothenburg, said he loved it. Went to a footy match when he was there. Showed me all the photos, made me very, very jealous. Central Station, Station. That was lovely, isn't it? So that's Gothenburg, Sweden's second city. Let's go to Finland. Oh, 
actually seen Yuen Su. I've never looked at Yuen Su in any of these videos. Yuen Su is a city municipality in North Karelia, Finland, located on the northern shore of Lake Pyhäselkä, at the mouth of the Pielinen River. Founded in 1848, the population is 77,266, and the economic region has a population of 115,000. It is the 12th largest city in Finland. Again, lots of water. Yuensu Art Museum. Pialis Yoki. Curious, it's a bunker. Oh. The art museum again. Ah, more shots of the bunker. How interesting. I thought these were branches for a second, but I think they're part of the metal girder. There is a very elaborate church. Oh, it does look happy. North Karelian Museum. Kulvan Nanuro Nature Trail. Oh wow, how beautiful is that? Oh, goodness me. Get me a ticket. I want to go now. <laughs> I was about to say that Karelia is actually the part ooh, panoramic, of Finland that has a side in Russia. So North Karelia is... Um, Yes, on the border of Finland, and then Karelia is a region. And uh, is it a cry or a. I can't remember its sort of status within Russia, but they would speak Finnish there, wouldn't they? I think the history is that it was taken after they broke away from the Soviet. I can't remember the rule, the, the history behind that, so. Maybe someone can write a comment if they know the history of Karelia. It basically used to be part of Finland, I think. But now it's part of Russia. Okay, that is Yuen Su. Yeah, there's the border with Russia. So that part of it's Karelia there, I think. I think. Sortavala, yeah, because it's in a different language as well. Kem Ostomuksha. Okay, let's go to Italy. Now, I can't remember where, if I've looked at Italy in these videos before, because I have an Italian channel and I do map videos in Italian all the time. Let's look. Let's play it safe and look at Pisa then, shall we? I have actually been to Pisa. The um, the little area in the middle with the leaning tower is stunning. Arena Garibaldi is there. Football station. Piazza del Duomo, that's what I'm trying to get at. Pisa is a city in Italy's Tuscany region best known for its iconic leaning tower. Already tilting, 
when it was completed in 1372. The 56 meter white marbled cylinder is the bell tower of the Romanesque striped marble cathedral that rises next to it in the Piazza dei Miracoli. Also in the Piazza is the Baptist Baptistry whose renowned acoustics are demonstrated by amateur singers daily and the Capo Santo Monumentale Cemetery. The thing that struck me about Pisa was everyone focuses on the tower but the um, buildings next to it are insanely beautiful. You just turn around and I would argue that they are even nicer. This is the uh, Iglesia, Iglesia da Santa Maria della Spina. This is, in, this is confusing me. Because Iglesia is Spanish, but then Santa Maria della Spina is Italian. Iglesia. Not Iglesia, which is Spanish. Church. Piazza dei Cavalieri. Beautiful building, botanical garden and museum. Sinopia Museum. It's the National Museum of San Mateo. Museo dell'Opera del Duomo. It's a museum for the cathedrals. is beautiful obviously. See, it's absolutely insane. People go to see the, the tower but the least articulate area, articulate, you know what I mean. Stunning. Okay, so that is Pisa, or a snapshot of it at least. Let's go to France. I want to take a look at Lyon. never been there but a very very good friend of mine lives close by um, okay Lyon the capital city in France's Auvergne Rhone Alpes region sits at the junction of the Rhone and Saone rivers its center reflects 2000 years of history from the Roman um, Amphitheatre des Trois Gaules medieval and renaissance architecture in Vieux Lyon, Old Lyon, to the modern confluence district on Presqu'Ile Peninsula. Traboul, covered passageways between buildings, connect Vieux Lyon and La Croix Rousse Hill. Hmm, that's a pretty good opening picture, isn't it? La Basilique Notre-Dame de Fourvière. So, of course, it's not the actual Notre-Dame which is in Paris. The one that had the fire and is being rebuilt. Place 
place des terreaux. Ça place, ça place. Gosh, it's very beautiful, isn't it? Parc de la tête d'or. Parc of the golden head. Vieux Lyon, that's the old town. Along the river. Place Belcourt. I didn't realize it was so hilly. Look at the beautiful church on the hill. And then you've got the ultra modern Musée des Confluences, the museum of the confluence of the two rivers. That looks like the amphitheatre. Teatro Gallo Romano. I'd like to sit there with a sandwich watching some. Shakespeare. But I'm not that cultured. <laughs> oh wow, it's really a lot bigger than I thought. Like it goes all the way up there. Stunning. No wonder there's evidence that there were people there 2,000 years ago. Wow. La Croix Rousse. Some nice green areas. Very stunning, isn't it, Lyon? It's within the Notre Dame. That's the view from up top on the hill, by the looks of it. It's very sprawling, it's quite a large metropolis, isn't it? beautiful cities in the EU in this ASMR video. We've been to Germany, Sweden, Finland, Italy and France, those five countries. And I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to show me that you have. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you. And um, any suggestions for future videos, go ahead and let me know. Okay, thank you so much for watching and all your support. I hope you're nice and relaxed. And I'll see you again really soon.